You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 21 of Deploying Dortmund. Now I'm going to make the deal that I so often do with you guys. If you manage to get this video to a thousand likes before 7pm, I will upload another episode of Deploying Dortmund. So double upload for the win and you will see episode number 22 in your sub boxes later tonight. If you don't however, that's it. The only video today I'm going to put up is this one. So if you want more, then hit that like button like mad now. Now we're in Division 1. We haven't lost it yet. In fact, we've... Uh, Main, we've only actually won Division 1 since being in it. I think we've won it four times on the bounce, five times, not really sure. We're going for it again. You can see we've got five games remaining. We need 11 points from those five games. That's four wins. And also, um, we are in the position where we only managed to get 10 points from our first five games. And we haven't looked as solid as we were ever since we've changed formation from the 3-5-2 to the 4-3-2-1. Now, the reason we changed the 4-3-2-1 was because we want to play the informed Royce at left forward. And to be honest, we've made a good decision because Royce is, you know, scoring absolutely loads of goals however the formation itself is pretty bad either I'm not adjusting to it well or it's just not that strong a formation you talk about the strong formations you talk about three five twos you talk about four three or four two three ones you talk about you know the five two two one you don't ever hear people talking about the four three two one as a fo strong formation however you may be mistaken because in this game we did actually go pretty pretty good you know we scored in the uh, fifth minute with Royce good goal from him then Royce again coming through nice skill run from him uh, some step overs a Ronaldo chop to get back inside and then he hits him with his left foot from just on the edge of the box into the bottom right hand corner so he had two goals already in this game however quickly after this he managed to get a goal back pretty well pretty sloppy one to concede really it was so easy I really should have done better Ben Arthur there getting the goal but we did extend our lead to two again through Royce he managed to pick up his hat trick some more step overs on the edge of the box to go past the man and giving him the space to have that little shot in the 89th minute he did get one back but it was too little too late you see the ball coming off the goalkeeper and I think I might need to put a fitness card on Widenfeller because his fitness is starting to deteriorate and his you know performances aren't as good as they were so we do end up taking down the result anyway and this is where I'm saying maybe the defence or the formation isn't as strong as it could be we used to never concede any goals and now we're you know conceding at least two maybe one two three goals a game which is you know difficult when you have to score that many now I put the stats of the players on screen you can see that Royce is in a good position he scored 18 goals in 13 games I think that's the best we've ever had of anyone's record so that's well over one game, goal per game, almost one and a half goals per game. Lewandowski's dropped off a bit with, you know, 40 goals in 52 games. Uh, I think we've got uh, Obama Young on three goals in seven games, but we need to give him a bit more of a chance because he's a new player to me. I've never really used him. I never used him when I built League One teams, always opting to go for other players like Ibrahimovic, etc. So he's a new player to me, and I think we just need to learn how to use him properly. Now, saying that, we managed to score the only goal of this game with Aubameyang in the 80th minute. Quite a nice goal as well. Slipped it down the side to him. And uh, he just took it early. Ball comes in off the post. And uh, his goalkeeper was rushing out. I thought he'd close down the angle enough. But he hadn't. And we do end up taking down that result. So that's good news. It means that we are close to winning this title. I mean, we need to win two of our three remaining games. Still quite a big ask. But we will go ahead. And I was supposed to do some trading at this point. And as always, I got completely sidetracked. I was like, oh my god, we're so close to winning the title. I want to go ahead and try and win it. So we go into another game and we come up against a 4-2-3-1 Serie A squad. And he's using the likes of Ogbonna and Gambarini. Really fierce two um, centre-backs at the back. And uh, I really struggled to beat him, to break him down. And to be honest, I was just, you know, having one of those games where everything was just going in his favour. This was probably the only goal I considered a goal that was legit. The first goal came in off a rebound. Um, you know, then you see here that was a goalkeeper kick out, ball straight back down to Cavani who's sitting between the two defenders. Why the defenders always push up and leave like space behind them with the wing back still sitting back so that whenever that happens, um, you know, the players on side, I don't really know. That's something they really need to sort out in FIFA 14. Get another goal with Aubameyang though on the stroke of half time, but you know the celebrations were short -lived as, lived as he managed to get another goal. This time a corner with Ogbonna and it was just stuff like this. I managed to put in a tackle there and then the ball comes in. Guy could have just headed it out, tries to do a bicycle kick instead. Cavani comes in and heads it in and it was just one of those games. So he saw what I was dealing with like... I know he played better than me. Uh, I'm not going to take that away from him. Uh, he had way more chances. But, you know, when I was when I was like... 1-0 down in the first three minutes. I was on the back foot. 
was having to play different from my normal style of game. Um, then I was 2-0 down, I was struggling more and more. Then, you know, there was more and more goals. I scored, I came back into the game, immediately scored a header from a corner. And, you know, it was just one of those games. And you can't cry over spilt milk, but I don't like losing. I'm very competitive, and it really pissed me off that I lost that game so badly. I wouldn't have minded if it was like 4-5 four, four, or maybe like 2-1 but it wasn't. So we go, need to go into this game knowing that we need to win because we have two games and we need two wins from those two games. So we managed to take the lead with 2-0 up and it was a fantastic second goal from Gundogan, you have to admit, uh, from outside the box, a really nice scoop turn. But the guy came back into the game after half time. You see there, how is that not a foul? He Ronaldo chops and actually pushes Felipe Santana, one of the strongest centre-backs on the game, over with Mario Balotelli. Don't understand how that wasn't a foul. We managed to go back into the lead. A nice goal again from Gundogan, one of the only players that actually was switched on in this game, uh, to make it 3-2. But after that, he just came back into the game. There's another corner conceding from that corner. And, you know, we are now you know on level terms again. Then more of the same stuff. This time it was a cross and the goalkeeper makes save. But again, it ricocheted straight to him. Um, it was just I don't know. It was just one of those games, and he was continually trying to tramp me the whole game, and eventually did manage to do it with Sturridge. And as you can see, I threw my controller across the room in a bit of a rage. I am quite passionate about this game. I don't like losing. I don't play to lose, and I don't like to lose because it makes me look bad. And you know, I play this game to you know entertain you guys, and it's not entertaining when I'm losing all the games because I'm not enjoying it. I'm guessing you're not enjoying it, unless in case, unless of course you enjoy me moaning about it afterwards. But um, I try my best not to moan. You know, I try to come at it from a neutral standpoint. But when you come at it and you've lost, you're like, Arr. and it's like quite difficult to commentate. You know, when you're having a bad patch. So we have ended up losing, or not losing, but we haven't won Division One this season. Uh, we only have one game remaining, and uh, we only can get three points from it. So we needed five, I think. So unfortunately, we haven't won Division One for the first time in well ever since we got promoted into Division 1 which is a bit of a piss take, a bit annoying maybe the honeymoon period is over and uh, we're not coming up against all the noobs we've been put up against the more difficult players in Division 1 and we're going to struggle a lot more maybe it's the formation, maybe it's because it's like a thousand degrees in my room and I just sit here dripping with sweat and uh, unable to hold the controller properly I don't know what it is uh, hopefully it cools down, the weather will go away and I'll just be able to, you know, um, sit and be cool in my room. But unfortunately, I live on the top floor of my house. I live in a cottage. Uh, we have an arga, which is on all the time. If you don't know what an arga is, it's like a cooker, but it runs on solid fuel or on gas or whatever. And you don't turn it off. You just leave it on and it heats the house all the time. Um, I have my... I have a low ceiling. I have my computer, my Xbox, two monitors, a TV... Um, you know, several other things all switched on, so it's absolutely boiling. But I don't know how I got on to talking about how hot it is. I think that it's because it's hot. But other than that, yeah. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll stop talking and boring you. Uh, please drop the video a like. As I said, a thousand likes will mean that you get another episode up tonight. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you all next time.